So, I'm going to talk about these little things. They're called Koyo. Probably because it's coconut yogurt. Um, comes in a few different flavours. This is natural. Oh. There's vanilla. And there is chocolate. Now I'm going to see how these are, flavour wise, because they are a better alternative to sort of yogurts. Um, so I've got here just the natural flavour. The thing is about these is, it says on them, uh, serving size is 100 grams, each pot is 125 grams. So each pot is 1.5. No, 1.25 of a serving, if you get me. So it's like one and a quarter servings. So they're dairy free, vegan, soya free, they're no added sugar, lactose free, gluten free, and paleo. It literally says at the bottom of it, paleo. Don't know if that worked or not. A little viewfinder on this camera is very small. So it contains coconut milk, tapioca starch, and pectin. Live vegan yogurt cultures. Great. So, I'm going to test them out, see what they like flavour wise. I'm not going to eat them all now, I'm going to just eat one at a time. So, I'll do another one tomorrow, another one the day after, or whatever, whenever I fancy doing them. It's just because I'm fitting them all into my macros and stuff for the day. Um, so, per 100 grams, it's 21 grams of fat. So, per pot, you add an extra a quarter of that, so it'd be 26. So, per pot, 26 grams of fat, 5 grams of carbs, and what of that and three grams of protein the vanilla one contains coconut milk vanilla bean paste tapioca starch and pectin live vegan yogurt cultures blah 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 should I mention the natural one has 275 calories in this one has the same 275 calories okay literally the same so 275 calories with 26 grams of fat 5 grams of carbohydrates and 3 grams of protein. The difference comes when you start to look into these ones. So this is the cocoa one. Um, obviously cocoa known for having sugar in it. Um, no, they're all still no added sugar. So this one's coconut milk, cocoa powder, cocoa fruit extracts, tapioca starch and pectin, live vegan yogurt cultures. So per pot you're looking at actually 250 calories. So there's less calories in this one because there's less fat in this one. Um, fat wise, try, I'm sat here just trying to work out what a quarter of 17 is, or just round it down. Call it 16, which means it's four. So it's 20 grams of fat, 10 grams of carbohydrates, and three grams of protein. So, see what they like. It's just like jizzed on my hand. Oh, that's coconut. So we all know I hate coconuts, so I don't know why I thought this would be a good idea, but I thought I would let you all in on this. So it's really thick and creamy, and I hate the word creamy because it always comes out weird. It's really thick and creamy and more like sour cream sort of consistency than yogurt. Ooh, heaven in a mouthful is their slogan. But it's got that sort of sourness that you expect from a yogurt, which is quite cool. It's weird for someone that hates coconuts that much. It melts a bit when it gets into your mouth. So that's the natural flavour cupboard. I literally cleaned the uh, entire pot out. So yeah, tastes pretty much like yogurt with like a hint of coconut in it. It's really nice. It's got a great texture. Um, so next I'll try one of the other two. I'll do that tomorrow. I'm strikingly aware I'm wearing the exact same t-shirt again. Um, so this time I may or may not have eaten them without doing the videos for the reviews mainly because I ate them in the studio at uni and I wasn't going to be sat there in the studio with my camera out. Um, so yeah, as far as things go, really cool actually. They're really nice. Um, the vanilla one is well, it's got the little bits of vanilla in. It's quite vanilla-y, 
but it's got like that yogurt taste to it, that live vegan culture yogurt taste is really quite cool. Um, if you like yogurt, these are the way to go. Like they're really good. Um, they're almost sort of like fat bombs with their like macronutrient breakdown being really high in fat because obviously it's all coconut, which is really good. The chocolate one is my favourite, but with more um, carbs in it, mm, I want to use them sparingly. The chocolate one has like that bit of raw cocoa taste to it as opposed to like, well it says on it raw, raw chocolate I think is the actual name for the flavour. Um, so it's not like um, that horrible like sweet chocolate, it's quite not bitter, but I don't know, you kind of have to eat it to find out. It's not like a, it's just not overly sweetened, it works really quite nicely, it works really well with the uh, like sour, the yoghurt, cocoa yoghurt thing. It works really well actually, it's really cool. Um, so. Shakes. So in terms of things, I think, uh, then yeah, they're a good product. I'd recommend them. I'd quite happily go and buy them again. Um, probably will go out and buy them again. So yeah, if you're looking for some like a nice way, like a little on the go thing as well. Actually, if you're out and about and you pop by a Tesco or like a, I think they're doing a Waitrose. I think they're in a bunch of places. And you pop by, and you see any, you know, you see them in places. Pick one up, like to up your fat levels, and they taste fucking great. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, do that thing you do down below, and I'll see you next week. God, I'm leaning like a really creepy sort of. Hey you, you want some of my go, yo? Also, I've had a haircut, and the man defiled my beard. It's so short. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so is the top. To be honest with you, uh, might as well just shaved me.